Hello, my fellow inquisitorial agents. Welcome back to the grim dark future of the 41st millennium. My name is Dagan, and I've got another Psyker build video for you. Now, this build I call Big Game Hunter, and it's actually a brain burst build. And what are we doing with this build? We are brain bursting and absolutely shredding enemies with an auto gun. Now, if you want, ever wanted to use an auto gun on your Psyker and damnation level, missions and orc damnations then this build will work for you okay now let's go ahead and dive right in starting with our melee weapon which is going to be really crucial in this build okay so we are using the mark IV dual sword for its ability to destroy elites and specialists and to generate criticals very quickly and to clear hordes so this is one of going to be one of your primary weapons during the build you're going to be using this weapon a lot. So I recommend having as best of a roll as you can. Um, mine's almost maxed out. And we are trying to generate criticals as much as possible. So I did put 5% melee critical hit chance. And I am running Shred. Um, if you can get Shred to tier 4, uh, that would be great. Now you're also going to want Uncanny Strikes uh, tier 3 or tier 4. Uncanny Strikes is going to give you that 24% uh, rending debuff on the enemies that you hit. And that does um, stack five times, okay? And it's going to allow you to push through the damage thresholds on those crushers and those maulers, the heavily armored guys, and really take them out uh, super quickly, okay? So it's really important that we set up the dueling sword as best as we can, all right? Going on to our ranged weapon, we are going to be looking at the Agrippina Mark I Infantry Autogun. All right, now this autogun, does shoot a little bit slower and it is doing higher impact damage all right so we are going to be clearing out both specialists and hordes with this weapon uh, you don't necessarily want to use it uh, during uh, fights with crushers and maulers but i can show you uh, what it can do with brain bursts that can totally shred a, a mauler and, and a crusher really fast um, and it is ultimately just really fun to use an auto gun on the psyker uh, you get that mix of gun and magic so that's what we're aiming for with this build. Now, uh, as far as stats wise, you definitely want your damage and stopping power as high as possible because that directly affects how much DPS you're putting out. Uh, stability and ammo uh, as high as possible as well. And then mobility can be kind of your dump stat. As far as perks go, um, mine rolled with a low 15% carapace armored enemies. I went ahead and left it uh, so that way I could change out one of the blessings. Uh, you definitely want to try to do 25% on carapace armor. You could also do flak armor. You could do range damage on elites, uh, whatever you prefer there. Uh, the next perk I'd highly recommend is increased range critical strike chance because we are trying to generate crits with this build. That's what this build does. And then as far as blessings go, I've got hit and run. Hit and run is really good. You want to try to get that to tier 4 or tier 3. So that way you're more tanky. Because ultimately on a close range kill, which you're going to be doing a lot with this gun, it's going to allow you to be immune to ranged attacks. So if you're getting shot by gunners, they're going to miss you. Helps you be more tanky and stay alive for your team. Uh, Dum Dum is going to be our next perk for that increase of close range damage on hit. Try to get that to tier 4. You're going to be putting out a lot of close range damage with this weapon. Uh, so it is just a nice damage boosting perk. All right. Now that is our ranged weapon. And then for curios, I'm running two toughness with combat ability generation. And then I'm also running a health curio uh, with toughness regeneration speed, uh, which is nice to just have that toughness regenerate quicker. Now let's look at our talent tree. Okay, and what are we doing with this build and the talent tree? Specifically, we are looking at trying to take out hordes of enemies and brain burst those crushers and maulers okay so starting off with the, one of the most crucial perks in this build is actually metal because uh, we are generate cr generating crits like crazy and so metal is going to be one of our main sources of toughness replenishment um, same with warp expenditure and quietude when we pop scryer's gaze and i'll show you that in a second uh, we are also running Soul Stealer, just so that we we can whenever we do get a kill with our brain burst, uh, we are getting that toughness replenishment from that. 
and we are using perilous combustion because uh, we are going to be able to kill quite a few elites and specialists with this build and then we got brain rupture we are picking up seer's presence and uh kinetic flare sorry kinetic resonance and kinetic flare okay uh, kinetic flare is really cool there's a nice little combo with the auto gun that i'll show picking up sight kinetics aura going down getting that inspiring presence for the toughness replenishment seer's presence so that way we can get that cooldown reduction for both us and our allies one with the warp and the reason we picked seer's presence over prescience is to be able to pick up that one with the warp so we sacrificed the extra extra crit chance because we are already generating crits like crazy so i didn't find it necessary but it is really nice to be able to have scratch's gaze and one with the warp uh, as much as possible okay we have got empathic invasion critical hits make you count dodging against range attacks another really good perk to help tank and then range damage boost for that extra range damage and then going into scratch's gaze scratch's gaze is going to be a big aspect in this build it's going to allow you to clear out hordes uh throughout the mission okay and we do want precognition for that extra finesse damage so that way our sword is getting benefits from that our gun is getting benefits from that so the sword is going to be able to you know clear out enemies super quickly with precognition and endurance for that toughness damage reduction as well to be more tanky we are going to go down and pick up kinetic deflection so that way we can go ahead and get true aim and the toughness boost since we didn't get it up here which we normally would going down the middle path for our keystone we're going to get health boost warp rider for that extra free 20 percent damage which combos well with scryer's gaze by the way and then empowered psionics for our brain burst so that way we can charge it up faster and do more damage with it all right so that is the talent tree okay and this with this talent tree set up you'll be able to stay alive generate criticals and do a lot of damage all right so what are we doing with this build so in a normal horde scenario you're gonna pop scars gaze you're gonna start mailing and we are generating criticals like crazy we've got metal we're moving faster and then you can pull out your gun and you can just start shredding enemies and with the peril as max at 100, you're getting that max bonus from Warp Rider, all right? We do have Empowered Psionics, so we're able to do a bunch of damage to these elites. This, and just like that. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that um, with the auto gun and kinetic flare from our brain, brain burst we can actually aim at this smaller or this crusher right here and we're going to start firing and you're going to see his health just deplete from the kinetic flare and see immediately he took an extra 2122 damage and then you can go and clean him up with the dueling sword and the reason we use the dueling sword is because we can do stuff like this and just take enemies out and even better with scryer's gaze proc we'll do even more damage i just two shot that crusher just like that and as you can see the auto gun is generating a ton of crits so we're gonna have pretty much full maximum uptime on metal and we're getting that toughness replenishment as well as the speed boost from metal and when you pull out that dueling sword you're going to be going even faster all right so that's the really cool stuff that you can do with this build and honestly it just feels good to pull out an auto gun and just start blasting these guys and with perilous combustion they're setting on fire you can continue to do more damage Honestly, this build surprised me. It's actually much better than I thought uh, when I started testing with it. Like, it looks okay on paper, but then you put it into practice, and it does take some work, and you got to be more careful and more um, cautious with your toughness regeneration. But it actually does do really good work. So, going in and looking at our talent tree, this is the build again. 
and everything has a lot of nice synergy um, and, it, and it's really good so I do want to show another option that you can do with this build it's gonna be the same loadout but for the talent tree you're gonna be uh, swapping out Scryer's gaze for the telekine shield okay and then this can be your main source of toughness regeneration okay you're not gonna get the bonuses of the damage bonuses and the finesse damage bonus and the damage reduction from the Scryer's Gaze, but you are going to get the toughness replenishment um, as well as 50% damage reduction for five seconds while you're in the shield. And this is going to help your teammates as well. So this is another way that you can run this build. You just pop the shield and you can start shooting and, and, and clearing the board, something like that. All right. Now, I do have to say, I prefer the Scryer's Gaze version. It's been the one that I've been using the most and having the most success with. And I think you guys will too. So, that's been uh, the build, guys. This is Big Game Hunter. If you liked the video, please uh, go ahead and drop a like on it and leave a comment down below some other suggestions that you may have uh, for the build and. Also, if you prefer to use a different weapon, uh, you can definitely make this build work. I just think that the Agrippina Autogun is doing better than some of the other uh, rifles in the game, uh, specifically for this setup. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This is a fun niche build. Uh, I definitely think that there's um, easier uh, builds to use for the Psyker, but it's just really fun to go ahead and run around with an auto gun on your Psyker and doing magical things with the Brain Burst. So I think you guys will enjoy it too. So again, uh, subscribe subscribe if you like the videos and if you're enjoying the content. And I hope to see y'all when we return to the grim dark future of the 41st millennium in the next video. Bye guys.